So you may be nauseated. You could be wondering, why am I nauseated and what can I do to get this taken care of? Well, in this video today, I'll explain exactly why people get nauseated, my fast tips that I recommend to help treat nausea, and if you wait till the very end of the video, I'll give the top five things you may need to worry about if you're having nausea and when to see your doctor. Guys, let's talk about poop. <laughs> Howdy y'all, Dr. Samir here, aka your poop guru, trying to give you the best tips and tricks to help out with your health. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe to a weekly newsletter. I'll put a link right here where you can get great tips and tricks just like this one. Nausea is such a difficult problem for us as doctors to figure out what's going on because there are so many different causes why people could be nauseated. If you look in the textbooks of nausea, literally it's two or three pages of hundreds of different reasons why people could be nauseated. Now, the way I approach nausea is I wanna to try to see if there's something inside the GI tract to explain nausea, but also outside the GI tract. So some of the more common reasons why people can have nausea can include things like acid reflux or heartburn. You may not realize that heartburn can cause a lot of different symptoms, not just burning in the epigastric or middle part, not only regurgitation, but nausea can be a symptom of heartburn. Another reason why you can be nauseated is a condition called gastroparesis or slow gastric emptying. This is when food just sits in your stomach and doesn't want to move on from where it is. People have difficulty digesting food, they get nauseated, bloated, and can have vomiting as well. Very common in people who have diabetes, but can also present other people who don't have diabetes. This is another common GI reason for nausea. Another reason for nausea are ulcers in your stomach. Now most people when they have ulcers, they complain of pain, maybe some black stools, or not eating very, very well, but a common symptom can also be nausea. I've had plenty of patients who I have seen who have just nausea alone we end up taking a look with an upper endoscopy we see a big old holster that's right there causing the nausea to be there another gi reason for nausea is an obstruction or narrowing somewhere in your gi tract and there are a couple reasons why people can have an obstruction you could have something actually blocking your gi tract you could have an ulcer to cause inflammation make it more difficult for things to pass through there could be a cyst somewhere compressing on your stomach or there could be other reasons why things are not passing through but an obstruction is a very common reason to have nausea another reason for nausea is the gallbladder now the gallbladder is such a funky organ because it can present with a lot of different symptoms and sometimes it's not just the classical symptoms of pain that goes right to your back sometimes you can have nausea and vomiting indigestion upset stomach pain alone so sometimes for patients who have nausea we'll work up the gallbladder to see exactly what's going on but these are the gi causes for nausea but can you believe there are more non-gi causes for nausea than inside the gut yes a lot of people when they have nausea they automatically assume that i can figure out what's going on but in the vast majority of cases it's outside the gi tract so things like something in your brain whether it's a tumor or a mass or some lesion inside your brain that can cause a nausea to occur. If you're pregnant, come on, obviously, duh, Captain Obvious here, but if you're pregnant and you don't realize this, this could be another reason why you're nauseated, which is why whenever I have a young female come see me, one of the first things that I do is check a pregnancy test. You can also have autoimmune conditions, which can present as a nausea as well. And then lastly, medications, medications, medications. This is probably the most common reason why people get nauseated. So blood pressure medications, pain medications, things that slow down the motility of your GI tract. These are medications that can very calmly have a side effect of nausea. In fact, if you look at the label, I'm sure you can have nausea as one of the side effects. If you're getting great value from this video, I would appreciate a like button and a comment down below. So now that we talked about the cause of nausea, what can you do today, yes today, to help out with those symptoms? Here are my tips. Number one, try to sit up and to avoid crunching your stomach. Now whenever we're having pain or not feeling good, we tend to tense up and get really, really small. But that tensing up of your GI tract can make it more likely for you to have nausea and vomiting. So try to sit up, stretch out that stomach, it gives you more room for things to move around. Tip number two is to try to meditate or take deep breaths. Now, this is not some wooey gooey stuff, but it actually has clinical evidence behind this. In fact, we use what's called diaphragmatic breathing for patients who have nausea or a condition called rumination syndrome, which is a condition which you have effortless regurgitation and vomiting of food. And what deep breathing does, it opens up your diaphragm, opens up your stomach, it closes the sphincter between the esophagus and stomach to prevent things from popping up and going up and causing you to have vomiting as well. Deep breathing actually works. So breathe in slowly through your nose. 
hold it for three or five seconds, and then slowly breathe it out. That is the trick for deep breathing. Next is try to shift your focus. Now it's hard to do this whenever you're having the nausea and having maybe some gut issues that are there. You just focus so much on that, it can be hard to think away from that. But as much as you can, shift your focus to something else. Watch TV, read a book, listen to music, go for a walk, do something to shift away the focus from what's going on inside your gut. The more you dwell on nausea, the more nauseous you're going to feel. Next, try chamomile tea. It works. It is a tea that helps to soothe the gut, relax what's going on inside your GI tract, but also helps out with nausea as well. It's safe, it's effective, and it's natural. In addition, it has a sedative side effect. It can actually help out with anxiety as well. Use some lemons. So whenever I used to be nauseous, whenever I was young, my mom used to give me Sprite. I was like, what the heck? Why am I drinking Sprite? But I came to realize that the lemon juice in Sprite actually made me feel better. In fact, my mom actually would add more lemons to the Sprite. And there's actually some good evidence behind this. Lemons contain citric acid, which is a naturally occurring compound thought to aid in digestion and nausea. And if you're constipated, add some warm water to that lemon and you can go pooping as well. Yes, kill two birds with one. Try ginger. Ginger is fantastic for nausea. Whether it's ginger tea or ginger root, use that to help out with nausea. Maybe even trying to chew on ginger root can help out with your nausea. And if you wanna add peppermint to that, that's my next tip. Adding peppermint to ginger or chamomile or even lemons can give you an additional benefit to help out with your nausea. Peppermint helps to soothe the gut. It's one of my tricks that I use for my IBS patients. Helps to relax what's going on. And by relaxing your gut, you can improve your nausea. And there's very good evidence that peppermint oil has been used to help chemotherapy patients control their nausea when they're undergoing chemotherapy. Try to eat something small and bland. Now, I know you're nauseous, so you're probably not gonna be going crazy on eating, but try to go to a very bland diet if you can. The most common remedy is the brat diet. Bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. This actually works. It's small, it can help out with your digestion, and it doesn't cause a lot of complications that you may eat if you have something that's very, very rich. But make sure you avoid dry foods, dairy, alcohol, and foods high in fiber until the nausea subsides. Now there are some over-the-counter medications you can take. Now not everyone should take this, so make sure you speak to your healthcare provider about whether it'd be wise for you to take something like this. The things like Emetrol, Dramamine, Pepto-Bismol, Graval. These are anti-nausea or anti-emetic medications that you can take over the counter to help out with nausea. Some other dietary changes may be helpful, whether it's small frequent meals throughout the day instead of having three very large meals, make them multiple different small meals throughout the day. Make sure it's bland, a brat diet works out great. Avoid caffeinated drinks, coffees, teas, sodas. Drink as much liquids as you can. If you need electrolytes, drink in some Pedialyte. Avoid spicy and fried foods. These are some of the tips that I recommend when it comes to nausea to help out with your nausea issues. Now, there are some times when you need to see a GI doctor for your nausea. These are red flags, things that you have to be worried about that the nausea could be a sign of something else going on. Here are my top five. Number one is a lot of weight loss. So people get nausea, people have vomiting, but you should not have weight loss or significant amount of weight loss from this. Weight loss is a sign that something could be going on besides just the regular meal nausea that may need further investigation to find out exactly what is going on. Number two is if the nausea doesn't get better after a couple of days. So if you're continuously being nauseated for weeks on end and you're not getting better, you need to get checked out to find out exactly what is going on. Number three, if you vomit a black substance, coffee ground substance, or something like that, that is not normal. Vomiting something black is a sign, some sort of bleeding lesion inside your GI tract. This should not wait, it needs to get invested. Tip number four, if you start having headaches, you can't see correctly, you're having neurological issues, that is not normal at all. So if you have that with nausea, ASAP, go see your doctor. And number five, if you have a stiff neck, that could be a sign of a meningitis, which is an infection in the spinal cord that can cause nausea to occur. If you have that, don't wait, go see your healthcare provider. But these are the recommendations I have when it comes to nausea and the tips that I recommend to hopefully get rid of it. My question of the day for you guys, what would you add to the tips to help out with nausea? Comment down below, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. 
I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to Weekly Newsletter. We're going to get great tips and tricks just like this one. Hope you guys have a happy and healthy day. Take care, everyone.